Good morning, Children Liturgy students. Welcome. It is Sunday, July the 25th, and I hope that you've had a wonderful, wonderful week. In today's gospel, we talk about what Jesus does when he has 5,000 people on the top of a mountain, far away from anywhere, and it's time for them to eat. How does he feed that 5,000 people? Well, in this picture, we see Jesus on the right, and we see a little boy. And what does a little boy have? He has some bread, and he has some fish. He has exactly five loaves of bread, barley bread, which was a cheap grain that they used, and two fish. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus, come be with us today. Open our hearts and our minds to hear the beautiful gospels and readings and let us learn from these beautiful words and let us live out this beautiful, beautiful uh, words of wisdom that you have for us. Help us to share your love today and always. Thank you, God, for all you do. We ask this in your name, Jesus. Thank you for listening. Thank you for all our blessings. Amen. Name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, boys and girls, can you imagine? Let us, before we get started, think about how do you feel when you first wake up? Sometimes you're still a little tired, right? But then after you wake up and really wake up and get dressed, What's the first thing you think about? Yeah, first thing you think about after your dress is that my stomach wants, wants some food, right? Something to eat, something to drink. And then a little bit later on the day, you're out playing or you're at school, what happens again? You get hungry again and you want to eat and drink something. Then later on the day, when it, maybe the sun starts going down a little bit, what happens again? You're hungry again, right? And maybe even after supper, you've had breakfast, you've had lunch, you've had supper, you probably are what? You're hungry again. Before bed, you might have a little snack, right? So we love to eat and we have to eat to keep our bodies going. We can't think. Um, you know, I don't know about you, but you know, we should never skip a meal. But if you're a little late getting your next meal, you might get a stomach ache, you might get a headache, you might feel a little grumpy, <laughs> you might not be so nice because you're just so hungry and you can't do anything because you're just weak from hunger, right? Well, in today's gospel, Jesus finds him in a, himself in a situation where there's 5,000 people and there's no place, no town around. And what do you think is going to happen after some hours pass? They're going to get hungry, right? Well, what does he do about that? So let's get started. Okay. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our first reading is from the second book of Kings. And Kings is from the Old Testament, right? The Old Testament is what? Before Jesus was born. And this is a reading from the second book of Kings. Well... Bish, the prophet, was in the city of Gilgal. A man came and brought him 20 loaves of bread. And he said to the man, give the bread to the people to eat. But the man said, there are a hundred people here. This will never be enough bread to feed them all. But Elisha again said, give them the 20 loaves of bread, for God says they will have an enough to eat and will even have some left over. So the man gave the loaves of bread to the people. They all ate and there was bread left over just as God said. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The Psalm is 104, 104. You are the one who feeds us, giving us food from your hand. You are the one who feeds us, giving us all that we need. Jesus, we love you. Thank you for feeding us. The Gospel Acclamation. Jesus, the 
feed us. Give us the bread that brings us life. Alleluia. Bring us the bread that brings us life. The Gospel according to John. One day, while Jesus was up on a mountain with his disciples, a large crowd of people came to see him because they knew he had cured some sick people. And when Jesus saw the crowd, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough bread to feed all these people? Actually, Jesus already knew what he was going to do. He wanted to see what Philip would say. So Philip said, the money earned for 200 days work wouldn't buy enough bread to give each person even a little piece. Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother said, there is a young boy here who has five loaves of barley bread and a couple of fish, but that won't feed all these people. I have a little picture, right? So there's the boy and he has five loaves of barley bread and two fish. But Jesus said, get the people to sit down. And then he took the loaves of bread and after he gave thanks, he passed them to the people. He also gave them the fish. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. Not just little bites, but as much as they wanted. And when they were finished, Jesus said to his disciples, gather up all the leftover pieces so that nothing will go to waste. And when they gathered up all the leftover pieces, they had 12 baskets full. The leftover after 5,000 people had eaten was 12 baskets. What did we start with? Five loaves of bread and two fish. And what did Jesus do? He performed a miracle. He thanked God, blessed the five loaves of bread and the two fish, and suddenly there were baskets and baskets of food and everybody ate their fill. In other words, they ate till they were full. And then we're feeding 5,000 people. There were 12 baskets of food left over. That is such an amazing, amazing. God provides for us, right? God always provides for us. When we think something is not possible, all things are possible with God. He keeps showing us over and over again in the, in the Bible and in our day-to-day -day lives the miracles that he performs. Well, boys and girls, this is a wonderful gospel, a wonderful gospel for us today. And let us try today to share God's miraculous love with other people. May God bless you. Have a wonderful week and still look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.